Good morning. Today I have the project of cleaning the room that I built the boat in. And as you can see, it's very messy. So let's get it on. I'm gonna do a time lapse. I'll be building a shelf over here. So I'll be building a shelf so we can hold more of the stuff in a more organized way. Let's go. Welcome to day two of cleaning. Good morning. Always start the day with some good coffee. Good stuff. Yesterday I only <clears throat> I only worked for about an hour before going to work. So I usually work before, well, I usually work on this project before going to work in the afternoons. I start I work around 1 p.m. So um, I'm going to continue cleaning from yesterday. So I hope you enjoy the continuation. You might be wondering why I broke down some pieces of wood but didn't break down others. It's because I plan to use these pieces for the boat and these pieces will be used for firewood when I enjoy the barbecue season this summer. So I'll explain real quick what's going on here. So I have a 2x4 here that I bought a long time ago um, for a different project and I'll be using this for the shelf and then here um, I'm sure you can guess one of these things is uh, gonna be the rudder of the boat. And then this will be the tiller, or a part of the tiller here. I have these two pieces here that I'll shape and glue together. This is going to be the dagger board. So this is just a um, sheet of plywood that I'm going to epoxy and whatnot. And then these small pieces are just in case, um, if the dagger board's not long enough, I'll just put a handle on top for it. Um, which I probably will do anyway. The dagger board's gonna only be about, um, I think 20, 28, 28 or 29 inches below the boat. So um, in total, it'll be around 
three and a half to four feet long. And I can lengthen that if I need to, so I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, those, those are what those are for. And then over here, I have the parts of the shelf, um, which this was uh, originally going to be the mast of the boat, but it turned out to be... hard to cut because my tools are not meant for the job and I live in an apartment so I can't do anything um, this big so I bought them in small and I'll be epoxying this for the mast later but anyway this will become the shelf so um, eventually it will be here so it's time to put a pause on the building and we're gonna go visit a place you may have heard of called Ikea now let me know. Do I look like Casey Neistat now? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Anyway, we're going on a trip, and this time my wife's with us in the car. So everyone, meet my wife. Fun fact, actually, my boat, the drill I use for my boat is actually from Ikea. I bought it a year ago. So, Ikea quality stuff, Ikea stuff is quality. Also, as well, with the food here, it's nice to get some European food in Japan. So I've been to Europe a few times and it's nice to come back and remember the wonderful food you Europeans have, especially here at Ikea. So, I don't know if it's authentic, let me know. Welcome back from Ikea. As you can see, the room is getting a little bit cleaner, but there's a big problem. It is dark. So when I was at Ikea, I went up and went ahead and picked up a uh, 22 watt LED light bulb. This thing is as bright as the sun. Um, so I'm going to test it out. I want you guys to take a look. So I'm going to do a before and after with a light right here. Compare two, three, two, one. So isn't it great? You guys can actually see me now. My goodness, there's a boat in here. Did you guys know that? Man, I haven't seen a boat in here at nighttime for three months. But my gosh, looks like we're gonna have some nighttime builds. Woo, baby, here we go. Isn't it great to actually be able to see what's going on in here? So I'm really happy about that light. So let's get started on the shelf. So the shelf, as I told you before, it was from the mast of the boat. Um, this mast didn't work out because it was too big to cut. So, as I told you before, um, we're going to cut it up into uh, two pieces and it'll become the sides of the shelf. And the shelf will be over here in the corner. So I have this 2x4 here um, that's by itself and then this is doubled up because 
It was supposed to be a mask. So anyway, this is a 260 centimeters about. Um, I don't know what the conversion is to inches on the top of my head. So I'll divide this into uh, half. Um, so it's about 250, well, let's call it 260 even. So 260 divided by 2 is, you guessed it, 130. Good job. You guys are very, very smart. I'll be honest with you. I really don't care about how this looks because it's going to be a shelf for um, utility. I guess it's going to be used, not in a pretty area, but it's going to be used to put things on. And I really want it to have a rough look, just because I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so I clamped it on here, and this will help keep it a little bit more stabilized on the end of things. And I'll go ahead, I'll be cutting like this. Um, Japanese saws actually cut on the upstroke, um, whereas most Western saws cut on the downstroke. So when you're pulling, it's going to want to pull with you. So you want to brace it on the left side, or the side closest to you as you're pulling. So, just food for thought. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the bottoms up. Here side's the flattest will be the bottom. And I believe these sides together. This side make a pretty, pretty decent bottom, if you ask me. So I need about 35 centimeters. Okay, let's be generous and go 40. Why? Because we just love giving as like a top storage and I'll give it probably 10 centimeters worth of clearance here. The thing is, this is not level at all. Um, so I'll just test to see how accurate this is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. <coughs> Famous last words, right? I'm pretty sure it looks good. Yeah, we'll do the same thing here. <clears throat> 40 centimeters from the bottom. This will be the shelf. Okay, let's find the middle. Or roughly. We're at 184. Okay, 184 divided by 2, everyone. 92. Good job. Thanks guys. I don't know what I'd do without you. Wow, we did terrible, but it's okay. Maybe a centimeter off. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on uh, the bottom. This will be on top, and it'll actually widen up the base a little bit and make it a little bit stronger. In theory, as we always say, now that we got our four pieces together, we can start putting the shelf in the shape that we envisioned. Also, I have nothing against Casey Neistat, by the way. I used to watch his vlogs all the time. And uh, I think he, he's an interesting storyteller. I don't agree with everything he does, but that's the beauty of YouTube, is you get to see people's lives um, from the way they see it, and it's cool. Also, too, um, I want to take this time to thank you guys. If you're watching the video by uh, this time, that means that you really... Uh, support this channel and I want to say thank you so much for the support you've given me and especially the, for the people on Reddit and uh, other websites that I've shared this stuff on. You guys have been instrumental in helping me um, build this project and encouraging me and uh, giving me the energy to build videos. If it wasn't for you guys, to be honest, I wouldn't be making this video right now. I only have a few subscribers but um, just the channel in the last month has just exploded because of this and so I want to say thank you guys. Um, help me out uh, if you can by subscribing to the channel and liking the video and 
if you really want to, it would, it would mean a ton to me if you could share this video to uh, the people that you know, just because I want to get the word out about this project and help as many people as possible. And also, I uh, want to make sure that I can become a better filmmaker and get a better audience that uh, can judge my videos and whatnot. So thank you guys so much. I, I just absolutely love it and look forward to making more content for you guys. Square blue. I'm going to take a look at spreading it out. Let's do this job. If you guys really want to learn a lot about woodworking, I recommend checking out Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I'm sure tons of you guys have already seen that show, but it teaches you all about how to um, avoid making really poor joints. Um, so in this case, this joint is actually going to be really strong because you're not going into the grain, you're going through the grain on both sides. So that's why I'm not worried about the glue so much because I know that the screws are going to hold really strongly. So when you uh, make uh, in-grain holes on the side, for example, right here, um, this, if you make a hole and a drill through this right here, it's it's just like putting your finger through a bunch of straws. It's, the straws will separate and they won't hold as tight, uh, uh, tightly as they could. So you want to be careful to know how you're cutting and how you're going into the grain when you're making joints. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in at a 45 degree angle and come against the grain in a way that's going to be a little bit more ideal. But you need a long bit to do that. My bit's a bit too short. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how, how she looks standing up. The other side. So I'm gonna come from uh, this side now and drive some screws in. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit, let the glue dry, and in my next video, I'll go ahead and organize things on the shelf, and then hopefully my epoxy will come, and I'll get started on epoxy in the boat. So thank you so much, guys. Feel free to like this video and subscribe. I will be posting a video every single week until this boat is done, so please keep posted. And then after that, I'm gonna continue posting videos about sailing, and other things as well. So thank you so much again, guys. We'll see you next time.